YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Can NVIDIA recapture 130 and hold? Now, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. So we're about 38 days away from the earnings of NVIDIA. And we have been trying to conquer 130 again. Now, you can see today we tried to break through 130. We got rejected and then came down to 127. Now, 127, it looks like we want to kind of turn this into a, a level of support. So if tomorrow we can kind of stay within range and Wednesday, I think the market probably could bring in a pullback. But if we can stay above 127, I think we have a chance at re retrying 130. Now, if we get rejected at 130, I think we're going to come back down to 123. Okay. Now, shall we capture 130? The next leg up would be 132.75. And so from 132.75, We'll see if we'll go retest those all-time highs. But when I look at the volume and the momentum, it doesn't look like, at least right now, we want to head back above uh, above 132. But if CPI numbers come in good on Thursday, PPI numbers come in good on Friday, we can be knocking back on the door of 132. Now, again, like I said, if we try uh 130 again and we get rejected we're probably coming back to 123 if we can't hold 123 then we're going to go back to see if we can stay above 120. if we fail to do that we're going to go back and retest 118 okay now yes all of that can happen in a week is done it before so from that perspective we want to kind of hover around where we are now build a solid foundation and level of strength there and then we can proceed to move back to the upside now as you can see here the next big tech milestone is going to be four trillion dollars and if i had to pick a stock that would get to a four trillion dollars uh first i would bet that it's probably going to be nvidia now, in order for us to get to $4 trillion, I, honestly, I don't think it's going to take much. I think just the hype of having so many positive earnings in a row, if we have another positive earnings, guess what? This thing is going higher, okay? At that point, if, if earnings come in good again, they outdo what the estimates are, we're going above 140, okay? Now, after 140, we'll, we'd be looking at 145 and then 150, okay? So from that perspective, I would say that NVIDIA has one of the best shots of getting to $4 trillion first. Now, I know Apple has been on the run. I know Microsoft has been a powerhouse throughout this entire year. But uh, if anyone has the momentum right now, it's definitely NVIDIA, okay? Now, for tomorrow, I'm going to be paying attention to the pre-market. I'm going to be looking at what's going on overnight. So for me, usually I get up every morning at about two in the morning, kind of look at what's going on with the stocks. Sometimes I fall back to sleep. Sometimes I don't. And then I watch things going into the pre-market. Okay. Now, I know a lot of you are probably like, what is this dude doing up? Listen, guys, I got four kids. When I hear things, I, I need to be ready, you know, and be able to protect my family. So that's kind of the, one of the reasons why I end up staying up, because I know people like to try to catch you slipping, if you will. And so I just want to make sure I'm ready to protect my family. OK, now, from that perspective, I would say if we show uh, any signs of weakness, uh, in the, the, the after hours going into the pre-market, then it would depend on where we are. So if we, if I wake up and this thing is at, let's say, um, you know, 123 or something like that, which I doubt will happen overnight going into pre-market, 
then I know something is up, right? That that may be a signal that the wheels are going to go ahead and and go and sell out the day before they they usually would leading up to these important uh numbers that will be coming out. Okay, another thing we have to keep in mind is that the Fed is going to be speaking, I believe tomorrow and Thursday. So We'll have to keep our eye on that as well. So let me just go to the economic calendar to uh, just confirm that. So let's go to economic calendar. There we go. Economic calendar. And then we are going to see what's going on. Come on. Economic calendar. So... The Fed is speaking, well, it looks like he spoke today. Well, no, he's speaking tomorrow, okay, at 10 a.m. What he says could have an impact, and then he's speaking on Wednesday. Um, and then we've got the St. Louis Fed and then Atlanta Fed speaking on Thursday. Guys, this is going to be a volatile week. Uh, it's going to be very volatile, so... One way or another, this market is going to move, rather be to the upside. If you're going to be trading this week, like I always say, make sure you're using your stop losses or have some sort of strategy to hedge against the positions you have if you're going to be in these posi positions short term. Okay. Now, I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, and we're out, guys. Peace.